to Scotland. Welcome to Scotland. We continue our journey to Scotland. As we do, we think about belonging. We all need someone to belong with, or a place to belong to. To feel part of something, a community, or, or perhaps a tribe. Sometimes where we grow up, or the people we are introduced to, do not give us a sense of belonging. So we go searching, and it's so important that we do. Sometimes searching can take in the form of a journey, and other times, it will require looking within. We both currently live in the south of England, and we have done for about 10 years. With jobs, responsibilities, and the feeling of necessity, we stay here. But we don't necessarily like where we belong as much as we once did, because we're no longer the same people. And so we search too. When life permits it, we need to make the conscious effort to go to the place where we belong. The one that makes us feel a certain way. The intuitive feeling we recognise as home, even though we can't quite explain it in words or rational thought. Sometimes belonging isn't rational. Sometimes it goes deeper than that. A place that we can call home can be a certain landscape, certain wildlife, certain smells, our favourite people or the music we enjoy listening to. Like the birds building their nests, one beakful at a time, so can we try and build a space of belonging too. Bringing forth small doses of what feels right for us at this moment in our lives. visited the Cairngorm reindeer herd, Britain's only free-ranging herd of reindeer. The reindeers have lived in the Cairngorm since 1952. The herd are permitted to graze on over 10,000 acres upon the mountainsides, and they are beautifully wild. Like us, you can visit the Cairngorm reindeer on a guided walk with an experienced reindeer herder, or if you wish, you can adopt one. On this land and the land lives within them. It's a beautiful relationship to witness and to be part of.
How cold is it? Um, it's so cold that I um, can't put, feel my foot anymore. Oh dear. <sighs> it's worth I it though. I recommend it. <laughs> So how are you feeling about being out here? Up here, in Loch Mormick. Hello. We're currently circumnavigating the wonderful Loch Morlick, which is near Aviemore, in the Cairngorms. Uh, this morning we went to see the, the wild reindeer herd, the wild reindeer herd, yeah. up in the hills, which was magnificent. I've hopefully got some footage for that to show you. You may have already seen it, depending on where this comes. <laughs> And we're just talking a bit about hey, hiking, hiking tomorrow. Ben McDwee tomorrow. Yeah, Ben McDwee, which is uh, Scotland's second highest peak. Yes, after Ben Nevis. Yeah, and therefore the UK's second highest peak. We've um, we've been up to the plateau before last year, but we've not walked across it to Ben McDwee, no. which is one of the ways to access it. 
So yeah, we're just um, planning really. We've been planning for a few days really and beyond. We've got all the gear that we need this time. Yeah, we've got some new boots, we've got some crampons, some ice, ice crampons, axes. ice axes for walking up slopes. Yep. Um, and obviously some clothes <laughs> and some food. And we're just talking about what time we're going to leave tomorrow, like early morning before sunrise, to get up yeah. to the starting point. Before sunrise, it'll be quite beautiful to see. Yeah, hopefully. Because we'll be starting from the ski centre, so it'll be quite high up anyway. Yeah. So if we get there for about sunrise, so before, sometime before six in the morning. Yeah. Um, hopefully, if the visibility is good, a nice pink of view. And then, it's supposed to be an eight hour hike without stopping. Yeah. We'll be stopping uh, for photos and to break. So we're expecting to be walking for about 12 hours. Yeah. It really does depend on the conditions as well. The forecast looks pretty, pretty good. good. Um, not too much of a cold wind or a wind at all. Well, it's going to be, they said to be 20 miles per hour wind, which, which is, should be doable. Yeah. And the avalanche forecast should be... They look green, which is good, which means we yeah. can walk without too much worry. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the visibility is supposed to be really good, so... So hopefully... But we'll check it again. Yeah. As is sensible. And then we'll decide tomorrow morning, I guess, before we set off. And again, we'll be judging the conditions as we go. As we go. Cool. So, the other thing we just wanted to say was a huge thank you to those of you who have watched our first video. Um, the response has been really good so far. Um, to this general idea, this kind of thing that we're setting out to do. Um, lots of people really um, positive about the kind of aims of what we want to do and what we want to talk about, some of the mental health stuff, some of the well-being stuff, and um, certainly some of this stuff, the outdoor stuff. Um, yeah, it's really exciting to hear, and it's exciting for us as well, because we're looking forward to doing all these things and combining all of our loves together yeah and it's really amazing to have a positive response yeah but it just just shows that it's we're on the right track and it's worth hearing about and it's worth speaking about yeah which of course it is it's um really amazing to have feedback as well so things you'd like to see more of that we do just let us know as well can send us a comment or you can drop us a comment at our instagram yeah um which is no dot at no underscore yeah go wild go wild or an email yeah which is can you remember that no yeah. dot go wild at gmail.com that's the one great yeah so get in contact with us just let us know what you want more of um I suppose something else that's been on my mind is just general kind of um, quality of these videos. So visually, we haven't got the best equipment. We definitely don't have the worst. Um, but thinking about ways to improve that in the future, and you know, if you've got any suggestions on that front, if any of you do videos and you've had good experiences with, you know, using certain bits of kit, let us know. Um, if you <laughs> If you work for a gear company, like a recording equipment company, and want us to trial anything, send it to us as well. Just yeah, get in contact. Very glad to do that. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, basic stuff. We want to get hold of a microphone and a muffler so you don't get all that wind noise that you'll mm. probably get on a lot of our early videos. Mm. Um, otherwise, thinking about investing in some sort of GoPro yeah. to kind of capture this stuff more easily and also commentary as we're doing it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think things will just improve as we go naturally. You know, we've watched a lot of other people who do videos on YouTube and, you know, when you go to their first few videos, the quality is generally pretty low. People just get a feel for it, don't they? Mm. Um, it, it kind of have your own yeah. personality That's on it. camera as you grow into the role and into, into that 
part of yourself. Yeah, it's really nice to see that growth with other vloggers. Um, and I'm sure as with anything, we'll be able to look back and, and um, laugh at ourselves. <laughs> we're, we're at the uh, innocence yes, of these few ten videos. Tenderly laugh at ourselves. <laughs> Um, like that. Well, not like that. <laughs> that's, no. that's what it'll sound like. It's a hearty laugh. Not, no, it was more of a chortle. Okay. Okay. Mm. A, a soft chuckle. That's it. Huh. Look at the trees up there. They're really tall. They're amazing. Really beautiful. <laughs> Little Dizzy. spin. Okay. Yep. Catch you later. plastic water bottle. Uh, Nana's, Nana's just spotted it so yeah, we're going to carry it out. I've got some space in my pack so we're going to be the do-gooders of the day. Oh, Such do-gooders. Well, no so we'll it's a bit of a shame considering it's such a beautiful location but um, yeah, do-gooding. Hey. Cut pine <laughs> smells amazing, yeah. They've um, cut a load of it down because it had a uh, needle blight, and they're going to plant native species like birch and uh, aspen here instead, and the pine will come back quite quickly. But yeah, it smells amazing. Wow, wow, we were. And the girls are also excited. Up ahead is where we'll be going tomorrow. Up through where that mist is. Yep. 